All right, guys, things are getting pretty serious here. Let me go connect the battery, see if she starts. All right, we are back. I have lights. Unfortunately, the generator is loud in the background. I'm hoping to get this running tonight. So it's definitely getting dark. We made the grand voyage yesterday with the second S2000 right there. We made it back. Welcome home, second S2000. I've been working. Let's see, I did a 12 hour day today between real work and housework. I'll take a break, hopefully spend an hour or two, get this sucker running, put some water in, put some oil in, check for leaks, and hopefully we'll be boosting. All right guys, got the turbo return done. Both connected, top bottom. We're good to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gaskets on the manifold right there. Put my hitch extension up, tighten it down, put the turbo on, connect this. Um, we got the feed here. Ready to go on top of the turbo. So hopefully I can hook up the turbo and get it going. Alright guys, so it's officially mounted, gaskets in, tightened down, manifold tightened down, turbo tightened down, feed on in the bottom, gonna put the feed here, run the, re the oil feed line in, the really turn line on, I don't know, fill up with some water and coolant, check the gap on the spark plugs, drop them down a little bit. Then we'll see if we can start it. See if it'll start on up. Turbo spoolage, exhaust noise, fun stuff. Let's do it. Will it start? Isn't that magical? Did the intercooler is gonna go right underneath that? We're gonna get cool oil going in. This is naturally cooled air. I'm gonna put oil in it, put some coolant and water in it, and start it. See what happens. It's holding. That's good. I don't know if that radiator is any even good. Have to burp it, but we can do that later. It's taller, that's probably the burp point, I don't know. We'll send it, it's full. Put oil in it, and then we can see what happens. These we haven't played No, I don't want no rest Echoing around these walls Alright guys 
guys, here's the first startup. I just put the oil in. I put four quarts to start for the turbo system. I run it for a second, check it again. Um, I think I'm ready, I got coolant. I don't think I'm leaking anything underneath. We will check that in a minute. So, yeah. I think it might take the hood off so I can see what's going on. Start it, let it run for a second, then come look for leaks on the oil. Um, pressure unit T and stuff in the back and on the feed and the return just to make sure there's nothing crazy going on there I'm not too worried about the coolant system I can just keep topping it off I just don't want the oil to leak so let me take the hood off first startup here we go everything's ready to rock then we can hook the intercooler stuff up and make turbo noises alright guys things are getting pretty serious here let me go connect the battery, see if she starts. It started. How awesome was that, guys? <laughs> Nothing there. That's cooling for me spilling. I need to slide up under to make sure the oil up there isn't leaking. Doesn't, doesn't look like that was leaking. It's all looking dry, as far as I can tell. Okay, I think we're good. I want to run it again. Alright, first startup was pretty good. I'm not seeing leaks yet. So that is that is mint guys. Look at that haggard style EF turbo sedan. This thing is sick. Okay, I'm gonna start it back up. And then I'm gonna let it get out, let it run, and uh, see if I can see any visual leaks. Um this was smoking, but the car smokes pretty bad, so I won't put that past it. We want to check the oil level to see what we have because we finally circulated it. I did put a, a pretty tight restrictor on it, so I want to check it just to make sure you know oil is getting in everywhere. Things are good with the turbo, and uh, we can intercooler it, put it all together sit it up there strap it down tighten it up see if we can get the blow off out to do some stuff i know i need to pull the vacuum hoses off still there's gonna be some vacuum leaks there with the catch can the block breather the charcoal canister some of those spots will have a vacuum leak for the boost the boost leak and uh i'm gonna check those out so let me start it let me see if anything else is really leaking Things are going good, guys.
Water? Dang. I wonder what it's from. I wonder if I have an intake manifold gasket bad? Or there's weird condensation somewhere? I don't know. I don't think I have any oil leaks. The line was getting warmer. So, but I'm going to pull it, take it off down there, make sure there's actually oil in the line. And, uh, yeah. That sucks. I'm not sure what that's from. But something is leaking. Maybe it's a head gasket. Maybe it's already popped. Maybe we're just going to make it pop the rest of the way, guys. Send it.